Alrighty, ladies and gents. Well, we got this truck inside. You're watching Lamvinsky's Garage. Let's see what we're gonna do. This truck, if you've seen our previous videos, it's a 1965 D200 long bed. Two wheel drive, 318 poly, automatic. Pretty good truck, we picked it up northern Washington area. But this is the one that my dad wants to shorten and turn into a step side. I'll throw in a picture of that step side box here. We went to Idaho to get it. There's a video on it as well. But look at this frame. It's got, I've heard some people say these are like a factory frame stiffener, but I don't know. We're gonna shorten her up make that box fit on and you guys are going to come along for the process maybe we'll learn you something anyways all right we got it all unbolted got the bumper off it's over there now we got to lift this bed up and put it on our trailer then we'll take the other bed and set it on top and get our measurements the box is off we got to go get the side by side put it on the trailer you see we already hacked the back off here I'll get measurements for you guys too, and we'll make sure it's all right, and I'll let you know what we're doing. Alrighty, beds are moved around now. Well, I guess the one bed's moved around. I lied. This one needs to go over there, but she don't run, of course. We'll drag it over, put it over on the picker. Second truck successfully moved. All right, the short bed is on the truck. We took about 18 inches out of the back here. I'm not gonna tell you that's exactly what they need until we're ready. But she's looking pretty good now. I like it. I gotta go get the ramps moved for him, but I'll get you a cool shot. Yeah. Looks like seven or eight inches gotta come out of the front. We'll get her back on the rack. Alrighty, we got measurements. As you can see here, we're gonna be taking out about eight inches. And then here and here, Slide her back in, weld it back together. Got to get the drive line out, get all that plumbed up. We'll be ready to start cutting soon. Well, we did find out that these are factory for a stiffener for yeah. these trucks, and it looks like they did quit doing them about late 65. Okay. This is an early 65, though. So they got to come off for what we're doing. Alrighty, we got her measured out. We're taking eight inches from here at a 45 degree angle so we have material to weld it all back together. We're getting the plasma cutter ready to go and she'll be blown a half in no time. Well, she's in two pieces now. Well, we just gotta get that the way she'll be. There's one half. Here comes the other. Beautiful. Eight inches, just like that. Well, we've double, triple checked all our numbers. Time for her to go back together. Pretty much exactly eight inches we've taken out. Now she's just gotta get stitched back together.
this probably isn't the right way to do it, but this is how we did it. We went from this box mount on the cab, or on the frame, all the way back to the rear box mount here. And when we measured it, it was 76 and 7 16 inches long. And to take out eight inches, we carved it out of here. It was 85. And uh, from side to side, it was 85 squared, or X'd. And then to do that, we took out eight inches and brought it down to 68 and 7 16 squared it all back up, and here we are now. We're gonna put the box back on. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, this is pretty much close to the final product. As you can see, the wheel gap looks really nice. The gap between the bed and the cab looks really nice. It's bolted down in the front. We gotta do something for the back back here. We bobbed her just a little on the short side, but we can build a bracket. But man, does it look good. It paid off, I'd say. This truck still needs some more. The next thing we're gonna do is we're putting half ton running gear under it because we got a 277 rear end, which is way better than this like 410 that's in it we got new tires new brakes new wheels hubcaps blah 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 all that cool stuff but she needs a little bit of love in the engine department too so she's a pretty cool machine and it's gonna look real good let me get her lifted up and I'll show you how she looks from a distance take a look at that doesn't that just look good but anyways, that's about what we're going to wrap this video up. So we'll have some more videos out on this old girl soon before she gets cruising this summer. But anyways, if you like the video, like it. If you want to comment or something, something we did wrong you saw, just let us know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a nice day.